In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install everything you need in order to create ASP.NET 5 applications on your PC. In order to develop my ASP.NET applications, I'm going to use the Visual Studio Integrated Development Environment, or IDE, specifically Visual Studio 2015 Community Edition. The Community Edition version of Visual Studio is a relatively new addition to the Visual Studio product family that offers the full functionality of the commercial version of Visual Studio completely free to individual developers, open source developers, or development teams of up to five developers. If you don't fall into one of these categories, you'll either need to purchase a commercial Visual Studio license or use the Web Express version, which offers a limited feature set. Enough chat, let's go ahead and start installing. The first step is to download the installer and then clicking on the big Download Visual Studio Community button on the home page. Please note that this page may have been modified since the recording of this course, so this button may have been moved. If that's the case, feel free to choose the option that seems most likely to give you the Visual Studio Community Edition as opposed to Visual Studio Online or the Visual Studio Code Edition. Also note that the machine I'll be using throughout this course is running Windows 8.1. However, everything I show should run just fine on Windows 7 or Windows Server 2008 R2 and above. Once that installer is downloaded, go ahead and execute it and follow all of the prompts to install. Feel free to accept all of the installer defaults and continue with the installation. At this point, you may want to go grab a coffee or lunch because this is going to take a while. With a broadband internet connection, it took me about 35 minutes to download and install everything. When the installation is finished, come back to this video and we'll pick right up again. Now that you've installed Visual Studio, go ahead and run it. The first time you run Visual Studio, it'll ask you some questions to help configure your environment. Again, feel free to accept the default values here or customize to your liking. None of these settings will affect your ability to follow along with this course. Now that you've got Visual Studio installed, we've got everything we need to move on to the next video where we'll actually start writing some code and I'll show you how to create your very first ASP.NET 5 application. 